Hello everybody, I'm Trapdog and welcome to my first YouTube video. Yes, that's right. Today we're going to be building a fishing hut heavily inspired by a mythical sausage tutorial that I will link in the description of this video. You know what they say, the first one's always the cringiest, so let's just get into it already. Alright, so first things first, this is going to be a block by block tutorial because it's just too small of a build to actually need one perfect square house each post has five blocks between it i got faith in you guys come on right now we're just getting a basic structure in place anyway later we're going to come through we're going to do the interior we're going to do some detailing we're even going to do some landscaping so just sit tight Something I don't do much of in this build is texturing. We use oak planks for the walls, we use oak planks for the walkway, we use regular path blocks for the path. We could have did coarse dirt, we could have did sandstone, we, there's there's so many options of what we could have did. We could have put stripped oak in there in some places and it just would have ultimately made it look a little better. And forgive my indecisiveness on some of these scenes, you'll see me break a lot of blocks, remeasure, replace them use different blocks in their place. It's the trial and error process when you're building. You're just trying to figure out what looks the best before you settle on anything. But you'll see the finished product in the end and it looks pretty decent. Now this roof ends up being mostly just slabs, but we come in and we break it up with a chimney later. I wanted to keep it simple because I got an idea in the future to come back and redo these builds, upgrade my build tutorials, but that's way down the line, so let me know if you'd be interested in it. So now that we have a basic structure built, we're going to come through and we're going to do some detailing and light this build up a little bit. I'm going to add some flower pots and some bushes, and then we're going to come in and we're going to break up that roof a little bit. Don't forget to take a step back every now and then and just look at your build. If you've noticed, I've got some stuff that's not perfectly symmetrical, but it doesn't hurt the build any. It gives it a little bit of character. Not everything you come across in everyday life is perfectly symmetrical. That looks good, but we're not quite finished yet. We're going to add that chimney. We're going to come around to the sides and do some bushes and some landscaping. And then we're going to go around back and we're going to hit that pond and interior. And you'll see. You'll see.
can we call this a fishing hut without giving it a nice little pond to actually fish in? Now it looks good, but we're about to add a really big oak tree, and I in no way intended for this tree to come out so big. It is actually giant, but it ends up helping. It looks really good in the end. Now if you struggle with custom trees, this one's going to be really useful. These big oak trees are really easy to customize. You just slap extra logs at the bottom and use spruce wood to even out the branches and everything and they make it look really good. You don't even have to mess with the leaves. So once the actual tree is done, you just come down to the ground, you do a bunch of roots on the ground, you do some leaves, make it look like leaves have fallen down there, do some bone meal around the area, and go heavy on the bone meal, but not too heavy, and you should have a pretty good looking tree at the end of it. Remember this is a really small build, the inside's only a 3x3 three three, so there's not a lot of room for activities, but we're going to fit the essentials in there and that'll pretty much be it for the interior.
that's it ladies and gentlemen if you like the build let me know about it in the comments and if you want to see more like it then subscribe because i got a whole lot more coming I'm thinking of starting a let's play soon keep an eye out for that if you got any suggestions for what i should build next let me know about it in the comments until next time have a good night